Hi, I'm Justin Long. And I am actor, raconteur, and acclaimed author, John Hodgman. And, 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 and what and, else? And nothing, nothing else. John. Okay, I'm a PC. I'm a PC. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Way to stay in character. Good job. Uh, you, you may recognize us from a series of commercials for Apple. And interesting, interesting fact, uh, those are the only ads that Apple has ever run in history. Actually, no, that's not true. There were, there were many other Apple commercials before. No. Yeah, yeah. There's Jeff Goldblum did uh, one. I don't know who that is. You too. No. I was talking about the fly backstage. You were saying no, no, Kev no. Kevin Costner was I in one. I really have no idea. Who Samuel he is. Jackson's doing one now. Come on. Who, uh, who Jacks who? I don't know who. You Come on. Mean. De La Soul, Yo Yo Ma. Okay, those are just sounds you're making with your mouth now. <laughs> anyway, Apple has done some legendary ad campaigns. In, in fact, around the same time that the Webbies were founded, Steve Jobs launched a campaign that set Apple in a new direction and taught an entire generation to think different. Okay, that I will believe. And we are hugely honored to have with us tonight the man who brought Steve Jobs' vision and directive to life, the original voice of Apple's groundbreaking Crazy Ones campaign, Mr. Richard Dreyfuss. You show very good taste. Um, before we talk about Steve, I just want to say, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Eric Brin, have you thought of the words quid pro quo? If you're going to take our privacy away from us, why don't you tell us something private about yourselves? And if you're going to change our world, why don't you pay for it? Because it's theft. Um, the story goes, You think I'm kidding, huh? You know I'm not kidding. The story goes that Steve Jobs wanted to make one statement that defined his company, defined his goals, defined his source point, where he started from, how he caught and held the attention of a world drowning in loud, hyperbolic fraud. Politicians, car companies, um, um, the guys who renovate your house, <laughs> other high-tech companies, Facebook, Google, are all scorned by our world, even though we buy their products and share their interests. Steve Jobs got it, and he recorded it. And then he told his people not to use his version, but to get an actor. He already had me. I had been an Apple master for a decade uh, until he came back and ended that. I had a broken, I have a broken string of Macs and Pros and phones. And as a thinking actor, I knew that I could sum up my constituency in the two words, Steve Jobs. My fans were smart, Upper West Side college grads who would never get a date unless they did something brilliant. So I looked like I'd gone to college, which I didn't. And I was, in a sense, a breathing metaphor for Steve Jobs' constituency. It was one of two or three compliments that I've gotten in my life that I will remember and think I deserve. But Steve Jobs' version was just as good. And in and around the time of his death, if you were paying any attention to YouTube, you got a chance to hear Steve Jobs do that speech. And you know as well as I he was brilliant. I personally think that he wanted to avoid the cult of personality, which was as possible as telling the waves to stop coming into shore. We live in a world of senselessness, dishonesty, and an amount of denial and ignorance enough to choke an elephant. The words of our language are shared 
unfortunately, by the good and the bad. The difference is, he meant it, and he did it. He did it again, and then he did it again. If I was supposed to do this in five words, I failed. Here are my five words. Exception that proves the rule. Thank you. As you know, at the Webbies, we say our thank yous in just five words. And so we thought it fitting to express our gratitude to Steve in the same way. We thank you, Steve Jobs. For making us love Apple. For making technology into art. For a handheld internet. For still changing the world. For saving lives with red. For spreading American ingenuity worldwide. For exploring beyond our reach. A unique, far-reaching, irreplaceable mind. For making the last run. Steve Jobs was insanely great. He made turtlenecks sexy again. A meticulous attention to detail. 43 patented inventions. Check Wikipedia. Thank you for thinking different. Here's to you, Steve Jobs. 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 The truth is, when we're talking about Steve Jobs, we only need one word. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs>